I am Charno, God of strife, God of slaughter, God of death. Where there is pain, I am there. Where there is suffering, I flourish. Where there is joy, yes, well, one could hardly have joy without another's suffering, no? Such promises, knowledge, justice, progress. What value hold these without conflict? What is a life devoid of strife? I didn't know you could read. One of my followers has, how do you say, strayed from the flock. I need one such as you to gently usher him back into the fold. After he failed me, I left the ragman chained to a rock in a cavern not far from here. It is time he was set free. Unfortunately, the dragons who daily tear at his flesh are unlikely to cooperate. You must drive them away and use Gangrel here to sever the chains. A good approach. I trust you will be able to acquire souls from the locals as necessary. Ragman, the years have not diffused your malice. You have tainted everything that was once pure in this valley, including the vaunted and ancient Sirocco. There is hope for you, after all. You may consider your penance complete, for the time being. First... We must consecrate an altar for you. Then we shall see how much control you have over this dragon. Whether the forest falls or not matters little to me. But such carnage. You are an artist. Kill the blasphemer. Yes. Torture also has its merits. Except Persephone... What good is a holy warrior without a holy war? He has a point. Let me assure you, I do not want to destroy the world. That's where all the best slaughter takes place, you know. But I do have a little something in mind. It is time I reopened the demon gate of Golgotha. An attempt will be made to drive you away, but have no fear. The taint of this place weakens those who would oppose you. You may also find help at the Demon Gate itself. I see you have found one of our old demonic allies. Come now, you mustn't forget me. Pyro will be in need of an ally, and I could use a pawn. Of course, if I know Pyro... He will require a little convincing, but that is accomplished easily enough. Show the ambassador no mercy. It must be a slaughter if we are to sufficiently impress our point on Pyro. Abraxas and Shakti. An interesting wrinkle, no? Use this opportunity to suggest an alliance with Buta. Well done. I think we have made our point to Pyro. Such malice should not go unrewarded. Pyro is right. If you cannot keep your followers' faith, that is your problem, James. The indignity! James actually suggested that this upstart, this Asher, could be a greater threat than the god of slaughter! Perhaps it will be necessary to subjugate this cult and restore everyone's faith in us, no? You must hurry. Your minions have gone ahead to aid the Empress, but they have not fared well. This Jadugar is magnificent. The best way to fight a demon is with a demon. You place too much confidence in the gnome's designs, my dear Pyro. Poor Pyro, he really is a simple creature. Don't waste your time with his trinkets. Go to Golgotha, and there we will make preparations to take on this Marduk. 
I think you have done this kind of thing before. Soon, Astaroth's fury will be Gangrel's might. Then he will be ready to battle Marduk. The only thing that can possibly stop us now is if someone kills Gangrel before the ritual is complete. You must ensure that this does not occur. The ritual of binding is complete. Gangrel will be sent to Acheron to search for Marduk. Now rid us of Yogo before he causes any more trouble. Do not, I repeat, do not banish Apraxis yet. I mean to talk with her. Do not banish Abraxas yet. What is the meaning of this? We have a bargain. Why did you not use Sarabella? So you tell me. We will need to banish Abraxas to keep the others in the dark. Discretion must now be our guide. Of Yogo's failure, Persephone and her allies will be aware. It is Pyro's new creation that must concern us now. James has failed to neutralize it, and it does possess surprising destructive powers. James' champion Charlotte was taken captive in her attack on Cindercrag. You shall free her and make overtures of peace to her master. Once she was sufficiently weakened, Pyro captured Charlotte and put her to work in the dynamo instead of banishing her. Her altar is still out there, but Buta has set many guards near it. Set Charlotte free by destroying the dynamo and make sure she is not banished. I would be a better friend to you than Stratos. He has failed you repeatedly. I assure you, Stratus will find nothing to incriminate me. In the meantime, I will prove the truth of my loyalty. The goddess can wait, my dear Stratus. You control so much of Elysium, she is harmless. It is Pyro who is the greatest danger to us all. Pyro is out of control. His lack of restraint only encourages people to worship Marduk. We must stop him now, while the others are inclined to help us. What an unutterably lovely moment. Pyro has been destroyed. His prime altar has been desecrated, and his champions defeated. He will inspire faith no longer. And for a god, that is as good as death. Wait! Your skills are superb. It would be a waste to destroy you. Now, listen to me. Persephone is bereft of strength, and her friends have failed her utterly. Join me if you would defeat Marduk. Excellent. You shall be my new champion, and Acheron a vassal to you. Insufferable fool. I am certain you are even now questioning the wisdom of your decision. But rest assured, there is no other way. James is upset, but he may still realize the error of his ways. It is Persephone who must be stopped. She is blinded by her ideology and will never see the influence of Marduk unless it looks like her traditional foes. She must be destroyed. What took you so long? There is trouble. Abraxas has disappeared, and anarchy has overtaken the holdings of Stratos. You may as well know the truth. All this time, Stratos assured me there was no Marduk. He said that it was a ruse to stir dissent, but I was certain he was lying. I never promise you the truth, but I am giving you the opportunity to fight Marduk. That is what you want, no? Stratus was not clever enough for such a scheme, so I sent spies to look for Marduk. I found nothing, leading me to believe he must be enthriring itself. With the apparent death of Stratus, this theory seems all the more likely. If you would have your showdown against Marduk, go to Thryring. 
I am certain you will find signs of him there. The prophecy is fulfilled and the demon has been destroyed. This is a day to remember. It is as dark and pestilent as ever. The usual malice is brewing. Acheron had been plotting your death, but I think no one will aid him now. You do not desire it? The other realms are in chaos. What is it? As you wish, but know that if he dies, I may be forced to find a crueler demon to replace him. Yes, torture has its merits. You who follow Persephone are so often alike. You speak earnestly, but without comprehension. You call for justice when you truly mean the triumph of your goddess. Gandril would have been the perfect tool for opposing Marduk, but you destroyed him because he was a demon. Now you wish me to spare you so that you can fight Marduk. You will have to forgive me if I decline your generous offer. He lies. Do not believe anything he says. Don't believe anything else he has to say. Come, come. We've all sent false visions before to further our own ends, have we not? His must come from Marduk. That is why he's deceived. I summoned a demon lord. It is true. But to slay Marduk, not to aid him. You dare make war on the god of slaughter? Bold words. Let us see if they have not outstripped your skills too greatly. It is just you and I now, Stratus. Perhaps it is time we put our lies away. Oh, that is not all I mean. It is time you confessed your association with Marduk. No one could believe you. You are a terrible liar. Betrayal by Stratus was inevitable, I know. But I had hoped you would not be so foolish as to stay with him. Don't take another step. Do you truly mean to turn your back on the god of slaughter? You are not welcome here. You are too burdened by conscience to be of service to me.